my name is Lindsay. Welcome to Love Them Well Homeschool. I am so glad you're here. I'm going to tell you today why I love Gather Round and their new botany unit. So when I got this in the mail, I felt like it was Christmas. I opened them up and I was so impressed by the beauty of this unit. The pages are beautiful, the illustrations, it's amazing. And I'm gonna tell you three big reasons why I like Gather Round and then tell you a little bit about how it's going. So the first reason I love it is just the concept behind it. I have one teacher book and then my kids each have a book that is on their level. So my preschooler has the pre-reader. And I love that he has his own workbook. It's so special for him to get to be with us while we are learning about botany. And then my third grade daughter and my first grade son both have the early elementary. Now my third grade daughter could have probably done the upper elementary one, but I wanted this to be kind of easy, kind of something that they can just really relax into and so and to, and to also do the same thing so they can work together on stuff. I thought that would be really important. So they're both on this and it's going really well. I also love the idea that I can save this teacher guide and in a couple of years do this again, but just by the next levels for whatever my kids need as far as their ages go. So that's wonderful because I think we will do this a couple different times. So I do feel like the teacher's guide is a really good investment. I also am loving the posters that we got with it. I paid extra for these, but they weren't even that much. I laminated them. They didn't really have to be laminated because they were such good quality paper, but I'm loving how beautiful they are. And this is something I think we will keep forever and hang up in our house. Another reason that I'm really liking Gather Round is that it's well written. I like to write, I appreciate good writing, and I've been very impressed with the lessons that are put out here. So there's a prayer, a verse, and then there are different sections about what that lesson is. So many parts, one plant, and a lot of times it relates right back at the end to how this relates to us and our lives and our relationships with God. And it's just such, it's so beautifully done. So I'm really impressed with that. And the third reason I'm really loving it is that the pages are sturdy. I think it was worth buying the books and not printing it myself because I wouldn't have been able to print it on such nice paper and the binding is great. The binding is not going to come undone after using it for a whole month. The pages are not getting ripped out as my kids are flipping through them. It's very well put together. So I'm impressed by that. I think it was well worth the money. One of the things I've heard from people who say that Gather On doesn't work for them is that there's too much to read. And I have not found that to be the case at all, but we do a lot of just sitting down and reading together as a family. So maybe we're just used to it, but I'm also not reading it all at once. So I will look before we start the day and see which pages in their workbooks correlate with the pages in the lesson and we will take breaks. So I'll read a little bit, we'll do a little a workbook page. We'll read a little bit, we'll do a workbook page. And we're also getting up and moving because there's a lot of activities within the lesson, like press a flower or go find a stump and count the, the rings. So we're really up a lot and we're doing a lot of it outside because there's so much nature around us, so much botany around us. So we're learning a lot while we're out there that is just firsthand. Today we did lesson five. So we said a prayer together, reviewed what we already knew about flowers, read a beautiful poem. Both kids took turns reading it. And then we talked about flowers, different types of flowers, the monocot, the dicot. I honestly thought that maybe my kids weren't paying much attention to this or picking up on it. But then later in the day when we were doing another activity, they, my son was saying, I think this is a monocot. So I was really happy with that. <laughs> we do start the day off with a recitation. So we're reading this together. And this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible, John 15, one through 11, talking about the vine and the branches. And it's just a beautiful verse and a beautiful lesson for life. So I'm thankful for that. So we're reading that together. And then we read through some of this. While we're reading, my preschool son in his book is doing a coloring page. Then after talking about the anatomy of a flower, we then did that workbook page together. Talked about the symmetry of different flowers. World's most interesting flowers. That was really cool. Flowers we eat and use. And then at the end here, it talks about what your students are going to be doing after. It gives you a checklist, different vocabulary words. Making a flower press, we're going to laminate those and make them into bookmarks. We drew in our botany books for this lesson. 
And then here was a history and science part about Charles Darwin and a prayer and some questions to talk about. And then the preschool book had this pattern page that we have not gotten to yet, but we will. Right here is a day at a glance for that day, what's happening, the different things that you are working on, and then the answers to your kids' pages. So you can kind of break this up however you'd like, but week one of seat work, we did our um, copy work for this. We worked on spelling words. I love this little checklist down here. We do calendar time together as a family, but I love how this is here. And then there is a page for you to do calendar work here. As far as these books being super well designed, they have thought of everything. So when it's time to, to cut off for lesson eight, page two, I can cut that there and then page nine is still there. It's kind of one of those things where I think, well, I don't know if I would have thought to do that if I was designing this book, but that's pretty cool. So then you cut that off, this is still here, so you're not losing that the next day that you need it. And they're so beautiful. I wouldn't have been able to print these off for my kids to be able to cut these beautiful pictures out and use them in their assignments. And that's another thing that's really cool. They have recommendations here for books and you can get these from the library if you want. And so if you have a preschooler, you can look here. And so that's the one, the one book that I bought so far. And then, you know, all the way down to if your kid's in high school, this is what they could be reading that week. And there's actually books recommended for every lesson, which is really fantastic. So you can kind of pick and choose what you would like for your children to be reading. So in a couple days, we're going to be talking about Pretty Pollinators. I love their titles. Every one of their titles is really clever and fun. And we're gonna be talking about butterflies and bees. And I'm really excited because last week we went to my friend Abby's house and she has bees. So she taught us all about them. I will be making a video about the things that we learned. She was amazing. And I think you guys will learn a lot from her too. She knew so much. And so I'd like to share that with you guys. One of the extra things we did was put three corn kernels into a bag with a moist paper towel and we put it in the window. And this is a way for my kids to be able to see the actual roots because you can't really see roots when they're in soil. So we are watching the roots grow. It's been really fun. One of the projects in the book is to grow your own seed. And so we have been doing that and they're growing beautifully. They're just in our kitchen and we're probably gonna move them outside soon. Every week there is a bingo game that you can play to review what you've learned. Fun activity cards of different options you can do to practice your spelling words. And a really sweet certificate at the end for when you're done with the unit. So I'm really excited. Again, I feel like these books were really good investments and I'm really glad that we have them. I think they'll be beautiful for the kids to remember this unit by. with Gather Around Botany. I am loving it. I think it's definitely worth the investment and we are learning so much. If you have any questions, please leave those below in the comments and I will try to get back to them as soon as I can. And we are also going to be, do be doing the Gather Around Government Unit very soon. I cannot wait to share that with you. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.